But most of you know me. I'm Arlene Diamond. I've been a member of the Conservative Forum for a great many years now. Uh, about less than three weeks ago, I was asked by the Santa Clara County Central Committee if I would run for assembly. I have gotten all my signatures. Today I went to both Santa Clara County and Alameda County with my big fat checks and am now an official candidate. I've done all of the, the milestones that are necessary. I need your support. I want your support in a number of ways. I'm interested in having you donate money to my cause, of course. But I'm also interested in having people introduce me to groups that I can speak before. I am the only Republican running in the district. It's a newly formed district. It's an open primary. And there are two Democrats that are running against me. My sense is, although obviously, you know, it's just a hunch, my sense is that the Democrats will cancel themselves out and that if I get enough visibility and enough support that I stand a chance of being one of the two people that gets nominated for the November ballot. I am tackling two major issues right now and my statement on the ballot has been very carefully crafted so that I can get Republican votes, <laughs> Tea Party votes, Libertarian votes, and even some Democratic votes. I'm tackling what I consider to be two universal issues. One is bringing jobs back to California. And in my opinion, the best way to do that is to get rid of the, some of the regulatory environment and some of the bureaucracy. We're not going to get rid of it all. The other area that I want to tackle is the K-12 through education system. Uh, right now, we are paying a great deal of tax money into that system, but a lot of it is getting stuck way up in administration. So my goal is to try to get some of that money, again, I'm not, not even going to have to think all, but some of that money to trickle down directly into the classrooms. So that's that goal. I have another goal about education, and that is to try and create some reward some meritocracy for standards of excellence in teaching. Now, I know you can't fight the California Teachers Association head on, and I don't intend to fight them head on, but I think that I can make inroads by talking about rewarding outstanding <coughs> teachers, and it's a way to start. The other thing, and that's part to you a little bit about my background, part of my background, is a lot of the waste that goes into government agencies is because of redundant and, and ridiculous systems, the processes of getting paperwork done. And I, uh, I was an efficiency expert when I was a kid. And one of the things that I do professionally is streamline systems. And I've done that for some of our local government agencies. So I think that I can help with that process as, as well, which of course makes government smaller, more efficient. So I need your support, I need your help. I know I don't have any campaign literature yet. The ones that I have with me tonight, I've distributed. But I'm pretty visible, you all know me, and please help me. Thank you.